हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू मयूर प्रोग्रामिंग क्लब टुडे वी विल बी सॉल्विंग अनदर डेली लीड कोड प्रॉब्लम एंड द प्रॉब्लम्स नेम इज मिनिमम डिफरेंस बिटवीन द लार्जेस्ट एंड द स्मॉलेस्ट वैल्यूज इन थ्री मूव्स सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट यू विल बी गिवन एन इंटीजर अरे नम्स एंड इन वन मूव यू कैन चूज any element of this nums array and change it to any of the value okay and what you have to do is you have to return the minimum difference that might be possible between the largest and the smallest values of this nums array after you have performed three moves okay so in one move you can pick any of the element from the array and change its value so now what you will be doing is after performing this operation three times or okay so you will be returning the minimum difference between the largest and the smallest values in the array okay so let's have a look at the constraints also before thinking of an approach so according to the constraints the length of the array is of order 10 raised to power 5 and the range of the elements in the array will be from minus 10 raised to power 9 to 10 raised to power 9 okay so let's see how we can solve this particular problem so we will be using a greedy approach for using greedy approach we have to make a couple of observations the very first observation that uh, there will be is whenever the size of the array is less than or equal to 4 then you can use your three moves to make all the array elements equal okay so for example if the array was 1 2 3 and 4 so you can pick any of these elements let's say i pick 4 and make all the elements rest of all the elements equal to 4 okay anyone if the array size is smaller than this then also it is pretty much pretty much easy to make all the elements equal and the minimum and the difference between the maximum and the minimum values will be zero in this case okay so the difference will be zero in this case okay so this is one observation observation 1 now what is the second observation for the second observation let's clear a board let's clear the board little bit so what we will be doing is let's say you are given an array of size 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 okay so how you can minimize the difference between the minimum and the maximum values okay so for that we should be knowing what is the minimum and maximum value so this is the minimum value okay and this is the maximum value okay so we need to minimize this difference somehow okay so a greedy way of doing is uh by this uh, greedy approach we would be wanting to somehow eliminate as much as large numbers as possible but there may be some cases so what will be those cases so you can take either three max elements just like we uh, took three max elements here okay and after taking three max elements what will be your maximum element now it will be 5 and what will be your minimum element it will be 1 so this is one way of doing it so zero minimum element okay now another way of that might be possible which might give us the correct minimum value will be you can take 
टू मैक्सिमम एलिमेंट्स सो यू कैन टेक सेवन एंड एट सो योर मैक्सिमम वैल्यू विल बी शिफ्टेड फ्रॉम फाइव टू सिक्स नाउ ओके एंड टू मैक्सिमम एलिमेंट एंड वन मिनिमम एलिमेंट एंड अनदर वे ऑफ डूइंग इज वन मैक्सिमम एलिमेंट एंड टू मिनिमम एलिमेंट ओके एंड ऑल्सो वाइल यू टेक वन मिनिमम एलिमेंट योर मिनिमम वैल्यू विल ऑल्सो बी चेंज्ड सो इट विल बी शिफ्टेड टू टू ओके सो यू विल कैलकुलेट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन टू एंड सिक्स बिकॉज यू नो दिस वन कैन बी चेंज टू टू ओके सो इन अ वे योर मिनिमम वैल्यू विल ऑल्सो चेंज इफ यू आर टेकिंग वन मिनिमम एलिमेंट नाउ कमिंग टू टू मिनिमम एलिमेंट्स तो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू टेक टू मिनिमम एलिमेंट्स देन यू विल बी टेकिंग दिस and you will be only taking this 8 so your maximum element will be now 7 and you can make all these minimum elements equal to 3 so your new minimum element will be 3 so this is one possibility okay now another possibility that there is you can have zero maximum elements and you can have Three minimum elements. Okay, all this. So your minimum value will now become four, since all these value can be changed to four. Okay, so minimum value four and maximum value will become eight. Okay, so three minimum elements. So among all these possibilities. this is for sure that you will get your answer among all these okay so you can have a dry run also of considering all these scenarios and try to find out a scenario which is outside these scenarios which will give you optimal result but you will come to know that these are the only scenarios which are possible and which can give us optimal result so one of these scenarios will give us optimal result so we will try out all these scenarios in our implementation so now let's have a look at the implementation and i will be explaining you uh, along the along explaining the implementation how we are proceeding with this okay so now let's take the code to the board so let's take a fresh slide so this is the code so what we have done here is as we talked about our first observation the first observation was that you will be you know seeing whether the array size is less than or equal to 4 in that case you can make all the elements equal and when all the elements will be equal the minimum and the maximum number will be the same so the difference will be zero okay so this was the first observation now i uh, i would like to ask you to take four minimum elements why we are taking four minimum elements out because you know when we will be considering this last case then in that case the difference uh, what will be the minimum element it will be the fourth element so that's why four minimum elements okay and from the given array so this is the given array okay nums and four maximum elements why we are taking four maximum elements out because you know this will represent the scenario in which the maximum element was 5 when you were taking zero minimum element so it was the fourth maximum element okay so that's why we are taking 5 so four minimum elements and four maximum elements we have to take and then how we will be doing that 
so we will do that with the help of heaps so for example let's say the array is sorted in descending order it's somewhat like this 5 4 2 1 0 okay minus 1 minus 2 okay somewhat like this and you have to take only four maximum elements okay so what you will be doing here is first of all you will take the four elements into the heap so heap will give you the topmost element okay so the topmost element when you will be seeing that your uh, then a very next element after you there are already four elements in the array then you will add this to the heap okay so now the size of the heap will become greater than four okay so if you take out the topmost element and it is a max heap so it will give out five okay so you will be left with values only four two one and zero okay so this way after you have uh, performed this operation over the whole array you will be having the smallest four elements okay smallest four elements why we will be having the smallest four only smallest four because we have put a threshold over the size of the heap whenever the size of the heap exceeds four then we take one value out and that value will be the maximum value in the heap so in a way it will give you minimum four values in the uh, whole array okay and you uh, you know the whole scenario will be similar to the finding out maximum four elements this time you will take minimum heap okay so instead of taking maximum heap this time you will take minimum heap and whenever the size of the minimum heap exceeds four elements then heap will give you the minimum element out of it okay and in that way you will ensure that you will be having maximum four elements with you okay so this will ensure maximum four elements so once you are done with this traversal min heap will be having smallest four elements okay uh, sorry uh, maximum four elements because of the nature of the min heap that it will give out the minimum element and max heap will having minimum four elements okay so now once we are having these elements what we will do we will store them in arrays okay and after storing them your uh, and we will sort them into uh, ascending order and they will be looking something like this so one two let's say the array was this one two three four five six seven eight okay so let's clear up clear the board a little bit okay so four minimum elements will be one two three and four okay let me write clearly here i think this will overlap uh let's write here so one two three and four okay and this will be the minimum elements so maximum elements will be five six seven and eight okay so you will take these differences okay and these differences will be representing those four scenarios that we discussed so how so we they will be representing those scenarios so you see if we take maximum three elements so we are taking these so what will be the maximum element now after we have changed these elements to let's say five so maximum element will be five and what will be the minimum element right now it will be one okay so it is the first scenario and the second scenario is two maximum elements and one minimum element 
so this will represent the second scenario in that way you will keep proceeding and finding out the difference between these lists okay so minimum four and maximum four uh, you will be visiting them by one by one picking first elements from both of the arrays picking second elements from both of the lists okay and then you will find the difference and whichever difference comes out to be minimum that will be your answer okay so this is how we are solving this particular problem if you are still having any kind of doubts or any queries related to this problem or this implementation then you may ask them in the comment section i hope this solution walkthrough added some value to your journey of owning your dss skills and before yeah i would i completely forgot to tell you about the complexities so the time complexity will be order of n you might ask why it will be order of n because you know we are taking only four size heaps and even if you consider the complexities because of the insertion and uh, insertion of values into the heap then it will be log of four okay so time complexity will be order of n and since the maximum heap size allowed is only four and it is not changing with respect to the size of the given nums array so size complexity is also order of one okay so these are the complexities i will see you in the next video till then keep solving problems and keep practicing thank you for watching